you're gonna understand how to create your custom trading plan using a 10 step process. I'm gonna give you some key money management rules to incorporate in your plan to ensure that capital preservation as you move forward so you don't ever have the chance of blowing up your trading account because that's the number one reason why most traders go out of business as they get involved. Also, you're gonna learn five principles of a successful trading plan and I'm gonna give you my option trading coach golden trading rules that I use in my account so you can also use them in your trading plan. On top of that, I'm gonna give you some profit taking rules because if you're not continually taking off profits, then you're never gonna grow your accounts and your equity curve to where it needs to be to reach your financial goals. Also, you're gonna understand the importance of back testing your trading plan to ensure accuracy and effectiveness as you move forward and as the markets change and adapt, so are you and so is your trading plan. And I wanna ensure that you understand how to determine your trading style so you're gonna be able to ask yourself some questions and really have a good understanding and feel for your best suited trading style. And then to finish this off, you're gonna have a great way to kind of take all this information, understand how you can keep a trading journal to track your progress and continue growing. And then I'm gonna give you some takeaway tips that you can use to finish off the program and leave this with a new way to take on the markets and take them on with confidence. If you go into this business and you don't have a plan, then you're gonna be doing yourself a disservice. Everything is driven by greed or fear. Those are the two main emotions that make up this business. Instead of letting your plan trade you, you're gonna trade your plan effectively. The first step is commit at least one hour per day to improve your trading skills and to study the market. If you have some cardinal rules that you cannot break, then that's gonna keep you structured. And the whole reason of having these rules is so that you don't go broke. It's to maintain the consistency and preserve capital so that if you do have some losing trades and you make some wrong decisions, that's okay. Everyone does that. You just fix it and then you move forward and find the next winner. And that's what it's all about. The key to successful trading is having a strong money management system. And it's definitely the cornerstone of your trading plan. Now, the first rule is never lose more than 2% of your account equity on a single trade. If you lose 50% or more on your trade, get out. Understand that if you're in a winning trade, it's really smart and it's a very effective profit taking strategy when you scale out and start booking profits as they start getting better and better and better and better. Constantly train your mind to be in the present opportunity flow with laser focus. And what that means is don't allow any external market forces or noise dictate your trading decisions. Always trade with the trend. And as the adage goes, the trend is your friend. When you double your money, sell 50% of your investment. And this is known as riding on the house's money. And it's a very effective professional way to scale out, take profits off the table and reinvest those profits in a new trade. If we look at the chart, you can start back testing and you can start moving forward just piece by piece. And this is really how you do it. So you can see we came down. You can really get an overview of the trend. You can see that right here, it's holding the trend lines of the moving averages. You still have a nice bullish cross on the DMI. It just broke a resistance level. So this resistance level right here is now a support level and it adds up to that moving average. So if I was going into this trade, the RSI is moving higher. You can see this is definitely a bullish signal. You have a cross on the DMI. That's a great chance to sell a bull put spread, cut your losses short and quick and let your profits run. So that loss, we cut it quick because that signal and it's all about getting clear on your wants, your needs and your goals. You have to let your trades work. If you get into a trade in the next 30 minutes or the next day, you're down money and you're freaking out. That's a problem. Wait for your signals and make educated decisions based on the facts. You have to be disciplined. You have to have habits. You have to put in the work. You have to be systematic with your approach, with the way you think, the way you do things in the market. You don't want to be indecisive or erratic or making inaccurate decisions that aren't supportive of your trading plan. The whole purpose of this fifth part is to bring it all together and bring it all together is mean having the discipline to see your plan through and making sure that it's effective and it works for any market trend. You understand there's all these different strategies you learn that work in an up, down and sideways market. Now it's time for you to take that knowledge and apply it.